what I believe is just happened. I've just chucked in. <laughs> Within f four minutes, it's gone, <laughs> gone off. I've got a pike straight away. Uh, I'm really buzzing. It's a nice one as well. It's a double. I didn't even have time to turn the camera on. Look at me. So I want to get everything set up. I'm just going to wet my sling up. Oh, that was quick. That's the quickest pike I've ever had. <coughs> so I'm, apologies that I couldn't capture the fight. I'll wet the mat as well. I'll just zero my scales. Well, yeah, <laughs> this is Ark's Pond. Just gonna zero these. <sighs> like I say, I do apologise. I just couldn't catch, I can't even have time to turn the camera on, you can't with Pike, so I just did it a couple of times I thought it was going to come off, <laughs> give me a right fight, so what I'm going to do now is bring this Pike up, I'm going to transfer him to my net I think into there, let's just get a good hold of him, let's just put him in that sling, it'll calm down then. I can sort the net out in a minute. It's troubles. Don't be messing about. Right, let's just get that out of the way. Right, where's he come? He's playing up. I'll just sit that up so he can't come out. God, it's got me by a surprise, that. There we go, he's safe now. Ten pound eight. So ten and a half pound. It's not a bad start to the day. <coughs> it's still a bit lively. He can't hurt himself on here. He? He's thrashing about a bit. Alright, I'm gonna take some pictures. I'll just make that set when I set my camera up. I'm gonna take some pictures. And we'll get him put back. I was just going to take some photos. Right, we're going to return it now. Oh, we're just going to rest it for a minute or two. You've got to look after these pike. Isn't that beautiful? So I'm just going to rest her and see if she's alright. Yeah, she's nice. Let's get some oxygen in the water. Let's make sure she's okay. If you got to look after her. And see a kick in her tail. Let her go in her own time. There's no rush. I hope you can see that. She's just resting there. She'll go on her own. There she goes. Thank you, my love. Magic. Right, what a start.
What a start that was. Put you there. Oh, I was just pulling myself my first cup of tea out. <coughs> so I'm having a moment with that. I'm all pleased. I'll just straighten my camera up. It's a bit. There we go. That's a bit straight. So, we've had a pike straight away. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'm well pleased with that. I was just going to show you everything, but it really did catch me out that. Right, I'm going to go sort that net out. It's got trouble stuck in it. What a start. <laughs> Unbelievable. So, thank you. I'm well pleased. Got them back in there. That's my toolkit. Sun's getting up now. I've just repositioned one of the rods. Just a little bit further out. Like I said, we might not catch another one. But, God, that was brilliant. <laughs> Four minutes. It must have been five minutes at least. Just chucked it in. And it had gone straight away. Just got the last rod out, put put a cup of tea out, saw my float disappear. <laughs> Brilliant start. So I'm well pleased with that. It's lovely just sat here in this sun. Chilling out. There's a few people on today as well. There's some carpers on. It is a lovely pond oaks. Really, I've enjoyed my time on oaks. I've got some really nice fish in here. Carp, tench, pike. I've even had some massive bream. <laughs> Up to 12 pounds. Uh, yeah. It's a good little pond. Right, as you can see, the sun's got really high now. It is now one o'clock. We've had no more takes. I've had my dinner. And a cup of tea. <coughs> Yeah, it's been a bit quiet. I was going to move to Osprey, but I don't fancy that wind blowing in my face off of that. On the peg, I was going to go on. So, uh, it's really busy in here now, actually. There's quite a few people on. I've repositioned the middle rod, which is out there. And I moved it across a little bit. Uh, I tried to put my deeper out, a bit of schoolboy error. <laughs> I've got to charge it up. <sighs> so, I have got a little clip of where I was fishing, and that was in eight foot of water, eight, eight foot, eight point five feet of water. So, I think he saw that straight away. That fish, he's been in that area. <sighs> Yeah, there is certain bite times, especially on this pond as well. They do come early morning. I have a, I've had them during the day, but I've had them at sort of like late in the afternoon as well. It's not a real set pattern, but I have noticed the feeding times to be that time early morning. And solid at night. So I think I'm going to stick on here now. I'm right, going to bother moving. And I'll fish it till about five tonight. 
Let's see if we can get another one. Small one will go to my. I just like catching pike. Doesn't matter what size they are. I've had a few big ones in my time. A few twenties. Not from this place, like obviously. Like I said, it was 16 and 12, I think, out of here at this pond. That was a few years ago. So it's basic, just a quick update. I did manage to get that hook out that net. It was right taffled inside. I was lucky to get that in. I don't think it was up properly. Very light. <laughs> so, Lady Luck with the screen shining on me. <laughs> It's nice to sit here getting some vitamin D. It's a lovely day. Just to relax, peaceful. Chill out. I was going to fish the Diowa open next week, which will be the 22nd, I think it is. Now oh, there's big massive Eastleys coming on. So, I don't think I'll be going in the river. Probably would have gone if it's the beach, but uh, not, not fishing the river. Be packed. Well, be rammed. But I do like me piping. So, as always, <laughs> we'll bring you back if anything happens. I don't expect anything yet with this nice, beautiful sunshine beaming out on my face. Lovely. <laughs> but you never know. Yes, right, I'll bring you back then. Right, as you can see, we've moved. I moved into Osprey, into that headwind. It got really busy in the Ox, so... Uh, pegs I wanted to fish have gone up down there, so... I'm on peg three here. And I just found the gravel bar out there, so... I've got two on ledger, and one on uh, floor, just down there. Been spotting a bit of... Uh, chopped bits up, mackerel, sardines and all sorts, just on the gravel, not much. So yeah, all about to set, if you can see them. So, oh, that's a bit tight, that thing. So, yeah. It's now just gone two o'clock. I'll show you this pond anyway. It's a big pond, this. <laughs> I came earlier. Peg one was really weedy down there, down the bottom of there. So, and that's Osprey. Big pond. So we'll see if we can catch one out of here. Been a bit setting up. Let's just get you straight. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can catch one.
Right. It's nearly time to go. I've only been here in this pond about two and a half hours. I ain't had a touch yet. It's half as far now. The sun's starting to go down. Not just yet, but it will be. I don't want to be late on, so... I'll just run through the tackle I was using today. Just to put that bit of mackerel white and etc out. I've got my spod rod, which is five pound test care, which is a Shimano spod rod, 12 foot. Lovely nice rod that is. Teamed up with my Shimano 7000. Uh, I've just done repaired that actually. I broke it, <laughs> casting it in gear. So yeah, turn that off anyway. I've got 25 pound avid braid on that. The shock leader, 50 pound card I want. And I've got the black bomb with a float on top. So that gets the bit out there. Fox marker sticks. I'll show you my rods. I've had these rods in <laughs> donkey's years. I can't remember when I bought them. But they're the Shimano Hyperloop. 12 foot, 3 pound test curve, but they're really soft now. They are really soft. <laughs> Brilliant for piking. And I've got the 8000 Shimano rails, bait runners. The Fox drop off once. <coughs> I like them big, especially when you're piking. And I've got the screwing carder. Bank sticks, large and small. Then I've got three Dilcom alarms. That's a still an 8000, that reel. It's the same thing, but I bought that off a friend and I've had that a long time. And that's a two and a half pound Shimano carp rod, which is very soft. So I used it for piking. And I've got 60 pound braid on them. Can't remember the braid, but I have it. I like braid. And that's my tackle I used today. Oh, and a fox landing net. So that's my tackle. I like my car and chair. It's starting to fall apart a bit, so I'll have to get a new one. Put you back on there. So what I'm going to do, I think I'm told Tina that I've, uh, I'm going to fish till about just come five. It's about another half an hour. I'll get myself off. So I hope you enjoyed the video, if I don't catch any more. That's a beautiful starting arc pond today. <laughs> I'll say four or five minutes with the fish. I must have plumped it on its head. But I was all pleased with that at ten pound. Ten pound eight. So it's not a blank. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not being blank anyway. I did the last one was carp. Last time I was out was carping. So I haven't been out a lot this year. I've been very busy, as like I said. So don't forget, give me a like, share, and subscribe. Really appreciate it. And I will try get out a bit more if I can. With everything going on. Work and family, they must come first. So, I will bring you back if I get anything in the next half hour. That's just the tackle I've used today. My tackle. And like I said, I'm not one for buying new tackle all the time. I can't, God, that's got to be 20, 25 years old, maybe a bit longer. The maple loops. And the reels are the same, I bought them probably at the same time. 
Right, I'm gonna have that drink, and I'll see you soon. Well, that's me packing up now. I'm gonna post start pulling in. Uh, far away. Ox, and I've done about three and a half in this pond in Osprey, so we've had no in Osprey. I'm going to start down a little bit now as well, so I'm going to get myself packed up and um, don't want to be too late, so I'm going to work early in the morning, so I've enjoyed the session, it's been nice. And it's nice catching up with this morning. So take care everyone and I'll see you on the next one. Don't know if it be piking, carping or on the beach. But we'll see you again. See you soon. Goodie.